Look at films. What's going on, guys? Um, so little uh help here that I will the video hopefully will help somebody if you're trying to um upgrade your firmware or your Zcam. Um I think it will work for any Z cam, whether you got the the F6 or the E2 S6, the M4, basically any of the Z cam, I think if you're having an issue, uh this might help. Um it helped me actually. So I was trying to um upload the firm update the firmware. Uh currently am I'll show you the camera here. I'm working with the Z cam E2 S6 and Currently had the original version of firmware from when I bought it, which was the 0 0.93. Um, I went on the website and they had, they're already up to 0 0.96. So I've been, uh, I follow the steps that shows on the Zcam uh, website. Um, connect the Zcam to the computer. Um, did that, then it says menu. Uh, let me turn it on just so you guys can basically see what i'm doing so i'm just gonna go basically through the steps that uh z can uh ask you to do uh what actually let me set up asking me to set up because i'll do that later uh, well, let me i'm trying to get out of here let me okay there we go all right so now that i'm out um the reason it, it prompted me to that is because I already did the firmware. Uh, but the reason for this video is to show you how I did it because it was giving me a hard time. So I had 0 0.93. I uh, came here, did the steps. Uh, it says menu connect. So let's go to menu. Uh, let me put this a little closer. I'm going to go down to connect. And then we're gonna go to network, the first one. Then we're gonna go down to uh, the mode, which is already direct, which is what they're asking you to put it on. Uh, go back. Um, then you get the IP address. Uh, once you get the IP address, uh, you have to do the fourth step, which they give you a link right over here. You can just copy and paste it into a new a new page, which I did. And as soon as you did that, you get your screen. So I'll show you my hand um, on my lens. I can actually see it on my uh, desktop. Uh, again, I do have a Ethernet core that I, I purchased at uh, Staples, I believe. I didn't have one. It cost me like 20 bucks for the Ethernet cable. Hook it up to the back of the computer. Anyway, so once you're here, this is basically how you would do the upgrade. Um, you will go to, you get this menu here, it shows you all of your uh, camera information um, as far as your aperture, your ISO, uh, shutter and all that. Then over here, uh, basically you have a menu, but what you really need to go to is where it says upgrade. So you want to go to upgrade and then you're going to want to choose the file. Now, let me go back to the Zcam page. So what I did was I was downloading the firmware 0 0.96 cause it's the latest one and it was not working for the, for the life. I, I downloaded it. I'm using uh, Google Chrome, uh, because, uh, Zcam, uh, they do suggest that you do not use Safari, uh, for this download process. So I did, uh, download Google, um, browser, which I did not have. So, um, I have it now and I kept downloading 0.96 and I went back here. I was doing the upload and it kept saying uh, version not recognized, something like that. So it just was not working. Eventually I found out since I was still running 0.93, I had to do 0.94 first. It won't allow you to just skip firmwares and jump into 0.96. So whatever device, if you're running 0.93, Download first uh, firmware 0.94, which is what I just did, and I was able to put it on my computer. Um, since I have you here, what I'll do is um, I'm going to attempt to do uh, firmware 0.95 uh, so you guys can see how I did that, or hopefully it'll work. I mean, 0.94 did work, so 
this shit works. So click on the link. I'm gonna hit download. Gonna open up a new page. Um, we're gonna download that. Google Drive can scan for viruses. You can download anyways. And it's downloading right down over here. Uh, so we'll let that download. Then once it download, um, what I like to do is uh, drag it to my uh, desktop just so it could be easy to find. So drag it onto my desktop right over here, uh, 0.95. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna head back into the controller wherever that's at oh here we go it's camera controller and we're gonna go back into here uh, we're gonna do upgrade uh let's choose the file which is already on my desktop and we're gonna go with the 0.95 you can see here i had the 0.94 that i previously did so we'll do the 0.95 hopefully that'll work out uh upload it's going it's going so far, so good. And it says, we are going to upgrade the firmware. Are you sure? Uh, you want to hit upgrade. And this should reboot the camera. Yes, there it goes. Then you get a message here saying, trying to reconnect the camera. It's rebooting back up. So once it comes back up, it should start downloading the new firmware. Uh, it says going to upgrade, recovery mode, and there you get the little bar. And we wait about a minute, 30 seconds to a minute uh, for it to download. So yeah, hopefully this can help you out. Um, make sure basically if you're at running 0.93, to not try to go right into 0.96. You cannot skip a firmware, unfortunately. You gotta do it one by one. All right, so now it's rebooting. And there we go. Now it's prompting me to do the next step. So there we have it. Uh, you know, do all your settings, time zone. I'm not, you know, you, that's, you guys could do that. So uh, there we go. So, so far I did uh, firmware 0.94 and 0.95 and 0.96 should be the same thing. So hopefully this, uh, hopefully this helped you guys. And um, if you like it, thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions, put them down. Thank you. <clears throat>